liberal reporter hijacks Mattis press conference, soon learns why they call him Mad Dog. Defense Secretary James Mattis recently held a press briefing, which a liberal reporter attempted to hijack in order to attack President Donald Trump. However, the insufferable excuse for a journalist was soon shut down as Mattis gave her a crash course in how he got his nickname, Mad Dog. Mattis spoke with reporters at the Pentagon last week during an impromptu visit to the press area, which was when one reporter brought up President Trump's tweet to Kim Jong-un, in which the president said his nuclear button is bigger and much more powerful. Just staying on, going back to North Korea, the tweet from President Trump this week about him bragging about the size of his nuclear button, was that concerning to you or what was your reaction to that? The reporter asked Mattis obviously attempting to smear Trump. Mattis remained professional, having dealt with far more formidable adversaries than a misguided liberal reporter. My job as the Secretary of Defense is to make certain that we have forces ready to defend this country, he explained. This was not sufficient for the incessant reporter, though. But with all due respect Mr. Secretary. She interjected. At that point, Mattis shut her down realizing where the line of questioning was going. Indeed, he was not about to allow her to hijack his discussion on more important matters. That always preludes something that is perhaps less than due respect from you, Barbara, Mattis said. Boom. She'll definitely think twice before doing that again. These reporters aren't used to getting called on their bullshit the way Trump's administration does, and it's a beautiful thing to witness. Although you wouldn't know it from the coverage the media offered of Mattis' impromptu press conference last week, there were some very important topics which were discussed, namely, preparations which are taking place in Korea ahead of the Olympics in Pyongyang and the unfolding situation in Iran. Luckily, the Defense Department released a report detailing Mattis' discussion, because we can't count on the media to do its job. Joint South Korean-U.S. military exercises have been deconflicted with the Winter Olympics, Defense Secretary James N. Mattis said here today. The Secretary also discussed the demonstrations in Iran during an impromptu news conference with Pentagon reporters. The military exercises in South Korea are needed to ensure U.S. and South Korean troops can work together in the event North Korea comes across the 39th parallel again. Still. The Olympics in Pyeongchang are the biggest event that South Korea will host this year. The Games are February 9th to 25th, and are followed by the Paralympic Games, March 8th to 18th. Source, U.S. Department of Defense The moniker Mad Dog was actually bestowed upon Mattis by the press, it is not a name his close friends used to address him, so Barbara was well aware of who she was dealing with when she embarked on her bogus line of questioning about President Trump's tweets to Kim Jong-un. Mattis earned his nickname after he made several comments which struck fear into the hearts of the fragile snowflakes in the liberal media. He explained as much during his Senate confirmation hearing. Retired Marine General James Mattis addressed his Mad Dog nickname at his Senate confirmation hearing for Defense Secretary on Thursday. That nickname was given to me by the press, and some of you may have experienced similar occasions with the press where perhaps they didn't get it quite right, Mattis said during his testimony. Mattis acquired the nickname Mad Dog, a moniker that is not used by people who know him, friends say, after he made comments such as be polite, be professional but have a plan to kill everybody you meet and a good soldier follows orders, but a true warrior wears his enemy's skin like a poncho. Source, CNN Clearly, this is not a man you want to mess with. However, according to former Defense Secretary William Cohen, Mattis' courage is his greatest attribute, not his formidable reputation. I want to say he has the nickname of Mad Dog, it's a misnomer. It should be Braveheart because what really characterizes Jim Mattis is his courage, Cohen remarked at his colleague's confirmation hearing. Men and women in all services love this man. Please share this report if you have a deep regard for our defense secretary, as well, and love seeing him put liberal members of the media in their places. Their places.